Hello there. Welcome to this video. Here in this video, we will try to understand how to create library objects in NanoCAD Mechanica using MakeWizard. create library objects. As you can see in the library in Nanopin Mechanica, you can create different types of objects library, parametric objects library. For instance, if we go to any of these objects, for instance, uh, I'll go to fasteners and you can find any one of these fasteners. So here you can see the fasteners in, uh, in reality and then you can go for to the drafting so once you insert the objects so you have different available size for instance if you want to make the thread diameter 16 and the corresponding part length will be available for you to choose in the in the assembly right so this is how you create objects in nanocad mechanica and you have other options like you can create different uh, views different uh, orthogonal views for that specific objects so you can create uh, like this and uh, like this I'll go to this view the top view and some other uh, different calculations you can do it uh, from the dialog box right if some company is having their uh, equipments and uh, they want to add those equipments or the objects in the library like this so I have this specific uh, components. So this is one component. This is one end products, right? So this is uh, some products that that has been added uh, in in the library. So you can you can hover between different size and different different parameters and different orthogonal uh, views. So it reduces huge time. If you are a manufacturing industry and you create different mechanical components you can make a library instead of drafting each and every time or updating uh, CAD drawing because there's a chances of adding errors always but if you use this nanocad mechanica make wizard functions to create library objects custom objects it will give you very precise uh, drafting within no time so as you can see, I have uh, one components, one uh, end products that I can use in the in the design. Uh, if you have design data, new design data in hand for this similar category, you don't need to draft anything. You should you should go to uh, open with script master options, and here you should go to table, and you should uh, you should find this table here. So now, as you can see, uh, this is this is uh, number of uh, type of motors and this is number of poles, right? So here, if you have design data in hand, you can add easily any number of uh, sub products. So you just need to give this informations, type of motors and the pole numbers and the corresponding informations. And based on this informations, one objects will form automatically. So you can choose, you can choose that specific category from the options available from the properties uh, dialog box right so this is quite handy I mean it records all the daily tasks to create some of the some of the precise uh, 2d drafting uh, drawing for manufacturing right so we will find in this video series how we can create some of the simple to complex objects some of the parts to complex assemblies here in NanoCAD Mechanica using Make Wizard. So all of this will be in uh, 2D. So you, you will not get uh, the 3D components here, you, but you can create the 2D. And uh, this is this is okay for the manufacturing industry who wants to use uh, this drawing as a soft drawing. And these are very specific. You can create your product catalog, so there will be no mistakes at all. 
rather manual drafting you can always use this smart tool to create the library so now let's start uh, building some of the components as i said that we will go from simplest to the complex objects so initially we will see uh, the concepts of building any objects and the process how we create objects in nanocad mechanica using make wizard right first of all you need to create some of the directory you can right click on any directory or you can right click here and you can add folder so on my case i'm going to save all of my components that i i'll be created here in this directory and i have a directory with my name so you can create your own uh, directory using your name or company name and you can put uh, and you can maintain the entire hierarchy and you can put the objects on the right uh, directory so that you can uh, in fact the entire um, organizations can find those objects uh, from uh, the, from the hierarchy easily so these are some of the benefits uh, people can get and at the same time these informations can be import the whole template the whole directory can be export and can be import to any of the local installations of nanocan mechanica you can if you don't really want to export the entire directory you can do it uh, for a single objects for instance if you want to um, you know export only one hex head bolt so you can do it from here you just click on the objects and you will get the export option one mcd file will be created that can be shared over pen drive or or over web and and the people who wants to import that they can import uh, that specific components on their local system to use with nanocad mechanica in a organizations where many people will be working they don't need to worry about anything because nanocad mechanica will follow one single server based uh, database uh, this one library so they can put that database uh, somewhere uh, like like this on the roaming folder and the entire organization can be accessed that specific path and they can follow all the objects they can they can take benefit of having all the custom objects i mean i mean it's it has all more than 4000 standard parts already included in nanocan mechanica but if you create your own library parts that will be added and people can also use those added parts uh, with ease so um, without further ado let's start how we can create objects initially we will start with uh, simple objects like one rectangle before i you know go into the development i should tell you something about the way we handle geometrical primitives in uh, cat system so now i have the rectangles these opposite lines are in parallel these angles are 90 degree as we know from the properties of uh, rectangle but we, you can always uh, change the shape if it is a geometrical primitives but if you use some relations that um, parametric uh, functions in nanocad mechanica to make this uh, rectangular properties intact so you can change the area but the rectangular properties will never end so that you can do using the parametric tools but if you really want to create some of the objects some of the part or assemblies uh, super flexible that will allow you to create any sort of drafting to represent any objects or any part or any any assemblies then you need to create the library parts right and um, here uh, for this uh, for this basic uh, components we can say that there will be two different types there will be two different uh, variables one is length and one is width so these two variables will uh, will provide us the the entire rectangle so 
our intention will be to track the length and width instead of objects so anytime we will use uh, the dialog box to ask the value of the length and width from the user that will be added um, in the in the back end of nanocad mechanica to form the rectangle so this is how it works and let's see how we can do it in nanocad mechanica okay so let's um, let's uh, give some annotation to this um, rectangle first of all we will go to this and we'll say this is the dimensions of this line so this is my basic entry for now and now you can see it's it has uh, 346 point something unit uh, length so we say it is l right so this is how we will have to define so in a complex objects or in a simple objects we will have to uh, you know convert all the dimensions all the variable dimensions for that the objects can deform uh, will have to replace those dimensions in terms of variables and we will have to define relations uh, in between those variables right so likewise i will uh, say this is not uh, 200 close to 200 so we'll make it something w so now i'll say okay so now i have two variables and i know this object is need only two variables to reform right so now to create objects so our suggestions will be you to follow the instruction initially as similar as we are doing here so once you are aware of most of the features of make wizard then you can take decision your own and you can make uh, you know use of most of the functions of make wizard uh, to create even complex objects as per your needs but initially our suggestions will be you to follow the instruction only to create the simple objects and then you will you will find uh, other options and other more you know complex objects uh, you know on the instruction uh, you can find here itself in the make wizard so that need practice so uh, this is the last objects we were edited so i don't need this anymore i would like to create new one so i'll click on new objects so it will be it will be allow me to create new objects and here uh, i need to choose the directory so where i want to save the file or the created objects library so as i said that i would like to save all the components here in this directory and i would say this is the component name and these are vital uh, uh, if you are working in an industry where they have the, their catalogs and they are habituated to call that specific objects by the name so you should use the same name to identify the objects properly so here in this case i will use some arbitrary name uh, in this uh, specific um, part of the video when we find uh, more videos uh, where uh, we will be creating some of the complex and legitimate objects so we will be using some of the legitimate names over there and uh, and then i will not write anything in the comment and then i'll go to create empty objects i'll choose this i'll not choose um, some of the prototypes i'll choose only the empty and i don't need anything to choose from here because i don't really want to get uh, help from any other templates any other objects uh, this is suggested for the new user they should choose a default template for now and later on when they will have uh, some of the good uh, informations they can they can explore more and they can use the uh, functions to get more benefit out of this uh, make wizard nano can make wizard so let's start with uh, default templates so i'll click on that and uh, that's all and now you are all ready to set all the uh, tricks to make these things uh, uh, flexible and super intelligent in 2d so 
you should follow the instruction um, I mean as we are doing exactly the same for now so we'll click on uh, implementation so now we'll click in fact we'll right click on implementation and then we will choose add implementation so we'll keep the name implementation one that's all okay we can make it one two three four no problem so this is my implementations or you can obviously you can you can name it something like whatever you want you can name it something here you can name it you can rename uh, the objects you can say something top view or as per the component name legitimate name but for now I am keeping implementation one and then I will see these options are active now so this is the entire projection system and this is for uh, hidden view to represent the hidden view and this is for simplified view less than the orthogonal views and you have sectional views and you have the dimensional views right so different type of views can be created but you should remember only you will have to create the view once so once you record those creation inside nanocad mechanica that will be integral part of nanocad mechanica for life so you can use that over and over you don't need to draft uh, anymore because you are recording those views so any views you want to record you will have to draw initially uh, to get um, you know that view recorded in nanocad mechanica so as you can see uh, i created one view and i can hover between different view i can tell nanocad mechanica which one is what so maybe here i can say this is my uh, front view but maybe not i can say this is my top view so i'll say this is my top view and i will right click on it in the implementation and now i will have different options strictly you should follow parametric recognize view this one because i don't really want to create the non-parametric objects now if you are creating non-parametric objects you don't need any skill anything you just go and just recognize name it and use it that's all but here we are uh, creating super parametric objects to reduce the drafting time so we will be using this parametric recognize view and then you should remember you should select like this the whole view including the dimension should be inside the selection box so that's all so now if I hit enter now it says that select the insertion point I will select this insertion point and I'll say okay right so this object is now this view I should say this view is now identified right so now we can work using this view right let me go out I mean I'll save this objects definitely but let me tell you something before even we go to script master if you draw any objects right any view in nanocad mechanica to create library objects you should test the model to reduce the mistakes you know if you are aware that how everything works then you can straight away go to the script master and other than that you should draw the objects you should assign the variables and then you should insert the insertion point from here and then you should go to test model so now if I go for test model and uh, now I selected the entire model including the dimensions or rather I should say variables and then hit enter and this message you should see the sketch has been successfully recognized this is very important you will have to find this message otherwise the objects will not be identified by the script master so this is important so for you you will have to identify the objects even before you go for the script master and create new okay so now we'll go back to the script master so this is my objects and uh, now we were in the implementations and now we will go to table so initially implementation and then table we will click on table and here we will uh, add add tables right you don't need to name anything the tables what you need to do 
this is very important you should um, add some parameters and here you should type the exact same variable so i created one variables called l and the other variables is w right so this is the two variables i created right and you should type exactly the same and you should right click on it and you can define the data type so here i will choose real that's fine but you can choose integer as well if you need right so now i'll choose again um, i need real so both of the data is real right and now i'm ready right so now now you can see the table and maybe now you need to define how many variety you need to create that objects so now you can say that i need maybe something three different types of objects to create so now you can see l and w is here so what is l l is for length right and this is important you need to write it properly because this information will be available on the dialog box for the user to view and take decision and then you should write width so this is my width and this is my length right so now i should decide uh, these two variables values you can have different other variables depending upon the situations you can make uh, relations between uh, different views but here we are dealing with one single views so here now we can say that i want to keep the length uh, initially i want to keep the length something 400 and uh, then i want to make something 200 right and then i can i can change the number of uh, digits after decimal sign that we can define in the settings but for now this is okay and now i'm saying that i want to make it something really big uh, 750 and i'll make something uh, something around 500.25 to verify uh, some uh, tricky data and uh, and we can say i'll make one more something like 300 and it is something 50 percent down so 150 so this is the information um, i will use so these are different types of uh, rectangle or some of the plates uh, you can create this way and then you should click on the description if you these are for the boq bill of materials you can use these information but for now i will skip one more options here uh, in the mac wizard that is uh, you can right click and you can define the preview so you will have to create the 3d preview or even the image will be okay so if you are if that image or the 3d preview is available you can add those image or 3d model here for the preview but for now i'm not going to add preview later on will when we will be working with some uh, legitimate objects we will be using the preview but for now we will use um, only the table and the variables and that's all so now we should go to i mean first of all i should save so things are saved now and further i will have to go to master in the make wizard and i'll use script master and here i will have to type something for the description these are all for boq so i can type something rect uh, for plate or something it doesn't make any sense but that's fine i mean i can write anything any i mean of description you can write for the boq and that's all um, and then you will hover through all of all of these options so i'll click next and now this is very important and you will have to decide what are the variables will be available for user to view on the dialog box right so for instance if we use uh, l 
so now these are some of the decisions you will uh, you will have to choose we will talk a lot about these options but for now you can say available for edit this variable which is length will be available for edit where it will be on the dialog box and it will be available for edit to whom to the users right so this is how you can relate and the initial value you can take either any of this value the initial value and that will be the default right so first time if you do not choose anything that default objects will be created so for now you can start with the first one or any of these ob uh, of dimensions so i'll take 400 the first one so 400 and again i'll go to this w so this is width and this is also will be available for edit and i will say because i said length is uh, 400 so i should say that if length is 400 then width must be 200 so this is the initial value if we choose 400 for length then we will have to choose 200 for the width right so i choose this and i will not do anything with uh, versions versions will be there but that will not be used on the user dialog box but that will be there right so i'll only deal with length and width on the dialog box and then i'll click ok and uh, go to the next i will not discuss anything here about parameter for the calculations uh, because this is a simple objects so but we can definitely uh, make these options also available on the on the dialog box but for now i will skip and i will say next and drawing conditions this is uh, for the complex objects will create some of the switch and i'll also discuss this how to create switch and what is the benefit of creating switch later on but for now i'll skip this and this is uh, this is even more very smart uh, options to working with different planes if we are working with uh, some of the complex objects then we can use it but for now we will skip this and same as for you know so height parameters i'll i'll, uh, I'll turn everything on because i want to see these options so these options will be turned on so i'll click next and it says the display conditions this is also i can skip but i can choose this too i don't have any conditions for now but i can choose this and then check boxes i don't need to be but I'm, I'm 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 checking this all of these options that's fine i'll discuss later on what these options uh, for so we'll discuss later on and then i'll say script and this is do not forget to save it and um, i'll say yes i want to save it and i'll say okay right and now you can see the aesthetic signs the moment you say save so now things are saved right so one objects rect 0001 should be here once you refresh it will be here so this is the objects right i created uh, this one maybe i'll save it okay so now you can see uh, as we were creating for now you can you can avoid this but you can see that rect 0001 is here and we have length and width initial value is 400 and 200 and we have properties currently we have one single view so we can only view one uh, in the future videos where we will be adding more views to show you how it works so then we will find many more here in the view section but for now if we go to this so it is 400 by 200 we can hover between uh, this size can you see if we click on the length the corresponding width will be will be shown here so now if in case if we need to create um, uh, the length is 750 the width will be 500 to 5 so i'll click ok and I say okay so it is now bigger than before so now we should go to annotations and we want to 
dimension this want to measure this want to see the value right so it will be 500 to 5 so as you can see it's a 502.25 so this is very good and this is 750 now um, as I said that any point of time if we create any view and suddenly if you need to create one more you just go to this and then add a value number of rows one and I say that it's it should be something 250 by uh, say 250 say square right so I'll say uh, I'll say save I'll say same and that's fine and that's that's all that's all that's what I need to do and then I'll double click on this and I should be able to find 250 right so 250 by 250 so I'll click OK and the dimension will also follow the objects because this is a smart objects 250 and 250 right so this is how it works so I mean now you can right click in this and you can import export these objects to send to anyone else who wants to use the objects right so this is a basic uh, of uh, creating objects custom objects in uh, nanocad mechanica using mech wizard uh, in the future videos we will uh, discuss some of the complex uh, objects how to create uh, those uh, items uh, nanocad mechanica make wizard options right so there we'll find uh, many more functions on this thank you keep watching videos related to nanocad mechanica